Level 15. Lesson 6. Tribeca está com os conflitos internos e decide conversar com um terapeuta. Tribeca, you sure you're in the right place? I know, Dr. Moreau. I'm sorry I called you a quack at the picnic. Quack. Quack. Picnic. Picnic. Something on your mind? I guess. Something on your mind? Você está preocupado com alguma coisa? I'm not really comfortable talking about inside stuff. I can't tell you the number of times I've heard that. Why not? I can tell you. É usado para enfatizar uma declaração. I can tell you the number of times I've heard that. Você nem iria acreditar no número de vezes que eu ouvi isso. How's work? I mean, it's basically good. Basically. Basically. I still enjoy roughing up bad guys, putting them behind bars for life, and it's not even my job to decide whether or not they did it. Rough. Rough. Rough up. Espancar. Rough tem uma pronúncia parecida com a palavra tough. Tough. Bar. Bar. Behind bars. Preso. Atrás das grades. After Thursday, Count Olaf will be behind bars. You'll need a new home. Why not here? Para o resto da vida. For life. No, I mean your real work. At home. Well, that's where it gets a little tricky. Trick. Trick. Trick é truque, enganar, iludir. Por exemplo, magic é mágica. Truque de mágica, magic trick. Magic trick. And now for my next trick, I'm gonna need a volunteer. You, sir, do you mind helping me out? Hey, go, Dad. <laughs> Try it out. Mas tricky significa complicado, difícil, trapaceiro, astuto. Let me guess. You're finally in a committed relationship where you know you should feel comfortable. So why is it that you're feeling completely uncomfortable? Committed relationship. Relacionamento sério. Maybe because the closer you get with Giles, the more you're realizing how many things separate you. The closer you get with Quanto mais íntimo você fica com separate, separate. And how can two people be right for each other when they want totally different things out of life? And maybe Giles applying for the lieutenant's program just shines a big giant spotlight on exactly this problem. Apply. Apply. Giant. Giant. Spotlight. Spotlight. Shine a spotlight on. Focar ou chamar atenção para alguma coisa ou alguém. I know you mean well, Doc, and don't take this the wrong way, but I think your profession's a joke. Mean well. Ter boas intenções. Don't take this the wrong way. Não me leve a mal. Não leve isso a mal. Não me interprete mal. Profession. Profession. 
Well, it was worth a shot. I have some antidepressant samples. That'd be great. Shot, como já vimos, significa tentativa, tiro, dose, tacada, alvo. É uma palavra que pode ser usada em várias situações. Se juntarmos mug com shot, temos mug shot, que é a foto de uma pessoa dos ombros para cima, tirada depois que ela é presa. Turn to the right. Turn to the left. All right, let's bring in the whole family. Come on in, come on in, Beth. Okay, y'all ready? At the count of three, cheese. One, two, three, cheese! Shot é o passado do verbo shoot, que tem várias traduções, entre elas atirar, filmar, fotografar. To get shot é levar um tiro. Don't shoot her, shoot me! Don't tell me who to shoot! What are you trying to get shot? Shut up! Why you be quiet? Sit down! Eddie, you gotta give up, man. The cops are gonna start shooting. Oh, I got a plan for that. I'm gonna use your body as a shield. Eddie. Valer a pena tentar. To be worth a shot. To be worth a try. Antidepressant. Antidepressant. Sample. Sample. That'd be great. É uma forma educada e respeitosa de concordar. Agora vamos ver uma expressão como joke. The jokes on someone. Onde esse someone é aquela pessoa que tenta enganar alguém ou fazer alguém de bobo. Mas o resultado se volta contra ela mesma. Parece com aquela expressão em português. O feitiço virou contra o feiticeiro. Mr. Spot. Fire in the hole! Go, go, go! Yeah, jokes on you, buddy. They make you come back and clean it up. Exercise. Agora chegou a hora de testar a sua memória. Vale a pena tentar. It's worth a shot. Vale a pena. It's worth it. Voltar a estaca zero. Back to square one. Saindo no capricho. Coming right up. Em jogo, em risco, em perigo. At stake. Em uma distância possível chegar a pé. Within walking distance. Eu tenho boas intenções. I mean well. Fazer as pazes. Esquecer o passado. Bury the hatchet. What did they say? I can't tell you how excited I am to see you again. You probably don't remember me. I can't tell you how excited I am to see you again. You probably don't remember me. Mom, I know I screwed up, humiliated myself, got cake in my ear, and, and I'm grounded for life, which I deserve. No, you don't. What? Mom, I know I screwed up, humiliated myself, got cake in my ear, and, and I'm grounded for life, which I deserve. No, you don't. What? Don't take this the wrong way, but you've just been kind of hanging around a lot lately. 
which isn't mm. a bad thing, mm -hmm. but it's also not a good thing. Okay, don't take this the wrong way, but you've just been kind of hanging around a lot lately, which isn't mm. a bad thing, mm -hmm. but it's also not a good thing. Maybe if you let someone else lead once in a while, you would actually enjoy it. I guess it's worth a shot. Maybe if you let someone else lead once in a while, you would actually enjoy it. I guess it's worth a shot. That sounds easy. It's worth a shot, isn't it? I mean, what's the worst they can do? Say no? That sounds easy. It's worth a shot, isn't it? I mean, what's the worst they can do? Say no? But after Thursday, he'll be behind bars. But after Thursday, he'll be behind bars. See you next week.